Welcome back, Vice Admiral. You have no missions at the moment. You are near Sol in the Sol system. Close map. That's already done. Oh, we're gonna have one of these days, are we? Voice attack. Wait, yes. It's gonna pick up all the wrong stuff. Um. Engage super cruise. Jump to super cruise. Right. Just gonna fly to Earth for no apparent reason. Galaxy map. Opening map. Okay, so where is the Min Taka system? Six hundred light years. And the guy said it was close, right? Let's try H. I P six E eight three five. That's two hundred and seventy-five light years. And what about eight? That's already done. Closing One. now. That's a negative. Where did that W come from? It's H R.
Sorry about that, that's bloody. Turn an alert off on the phone. Right. Engage FTL. Engage FTL. Preparing for jump. I don't have that information. Open galaxy map. Engage FTL. Destination confirmed. SSB Strumuth is heading to the core system sector ON-TB3-6 system. You are no longer in Federation space. This is your first visit to this system. This system is not populated. Current location is 30 light years from home. FSS. Acknowledged. Close map. That's already done. Close map. That's already done. Oh, of course, I'm in FSS. Close FSS. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, losing it. 100%. 100%. Center HND. Reconfiguring visual parameters now. Heat levels beyond operating tolerance. Left supercruise close to star core system sector ON-TB3-6 AM. Heat levels beyond operating tolerance. Turn on orbit lines. Uh, I'm going to turn on the bloody orbit lines now then. Turn on lights landing gear. I'll go. Engage Super Cruise. Heat levels beyond operating tolerance. Jump to Super Cruise. Warning. Heat levels beyond operating tolerance.
turn on orbit lines. Engage FTL. I've forgotten so much about this game. So, so much. Telemetry obtained. SSP Strumoth is en route to the Crucis Sector IH-VB2-4 system. This is your first visit to this system. Fuel tanks are at 71% capacity. 100%. Yes, sir. Fifty percent. Engines, fifty percent. All stop. All stop. Warning. Temperature critical. One hundred percent. Okay. A hundred percent engaged. engines. Affirmative. Open Slow FSS. Engine stop. Affirmative, Commander. nothing in this system then. Open system map. Accessing cartography. Go from system map to that. Engage FTL. One hundred percent. Going to maximum. Destination confirmed. SSB Strumoth is traveling to the Wellisurm system. You are entering independent space. This is your first visit to this system. Wellisurm is an independent anarchy with a population of just over 26,000 souls. Family of Wellisurm is the immediate faction. There is one orbital station in this system. Red stars that form the bulk of the main sequence stars in the galaxy. Their mass is low, as is their surface temperature. Phenomenal. Open system map. Displaying map.
Analysis finished. Object 3 is a medium gravity icy body. It has a slow retrograde rotational period of minus 291.8 days. I detect high numbers of active water geysers. There is a crushing argon-rich atmosphere with an average surface temperature of 177 Kelvin. Prediction attempt by pirate detected. Throttle down or evade. From pirate major. Stephanie Kit, prepare yourself. Just fly straight to this black hole and have a look. We'll do the scanning bit later. Engage FTL. FTL. SS Bistromother's fuel reserves are at 86%. Commander. Quote Douglas Adams. Destination confirmed. SS Bistromuth is en route to the Col 285 Sector RY-HC 10-25 system. Information, Arrival Star is not scoopable. This is your first visit to this system. Class TTS Star. T-Tori Type Stars. 
very young stars, which are in the process of gravitational contraction. Note, take caution when traveling and using a refueling module, as the TTS appearance often resembles M or K class stars. Impression. Gauge FTL. Can you hear me, Doris? Be nice, Doris. Telemetry obtained. SSB Strumuth is en route to the HIP 59913 system. This is your first visit to this system. You are 147 light years from home. That's a lot of out clusters. Open system map. Open system map. System map. Refueled. Maximum fuel. Access. Scan and analysis completed. Object 3 is a medium gravity gas giant with a pristine icy ring. It has a rotational period of one days. Coloration comes from clouds in the upper atmosphere of ammonia, water vapor, hydrogen sulfide, phosphine and sulfur. The temperature at the top of the upper cloud layers is typically less than 150 Kelvin. Impressive. Analysis complete. Object 3 is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 16 days and is tidally locked. The surface temperature average is 97 Kelvin. Scan and analysis completed. Object 3C is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 4.5 days and is tidally locked. The surface temperature average is 98 Kelvin. Scan and analysis complete. Celestial Object 3B is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. 
It has a rotational period of two days and is tidal locked. Sensors detect high numbers of active water geysers at the surface. It is devoid of any atmosphere. The surface temperature average is 99 Kelvin. Scan complete. Object 3D is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 8.5 days and is tidal locked. There is no atmosphere. The surface temperature average is 98 Kelvin. Analysis completed. Celestial Object 3AM is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 1.3 days and is tidal locked. I am detecting high numbers of active water geysers at the surface. It is devoid of any atmosphere. The surface temperature average is 99 Kelvin. Close FSS. Right away, Commander. 100%. 100%. Time is at 7 o'clock. Engage FTL. Progress. SSB Strumoth is in transit to the Col 285 Sector TJ MB 22 5 system. This is your first visit to this system. 50 on my mark. Engage. Fuel reserves are at 92% capacity. Give me a random galactic fact. The Kelvin temperature scale. A temperature scale used in sciences such as astronomy to measure extremely cold temperatures. The Kelvin temperature scale. Destination confirmed. SSB Strumoth is heading to the Rigo SK YB 55 8 system. This is your first visit to this system. Fuel reserves are at 77% capacity, Commander. stars that are cooler than M-class stars. They are on the borderline of supporting fusion of hydrogen in their cores, and their temperatures range from 1,300 to 2,400 Kelvin, cool enough to have alkaline metals and metal hydrides in their atmospheres. Impressive. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel at maximum. Scan completed. Celestial Object A1 is a low-gravity icy body. It has a rotational period of 0.7 days. Most prevalent in the super-thin atmosphere is argon with an average surface temperature of 87 Kelvin. Analysis complete. Body A4 AM is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 2.4 days. The surface temperature average is 39 Kelvin. Analysis completed. Celestial Object A4 is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 1 days. The surface temperature average is 39 Kelvin.
Scan finished. Celestial Object B7AM is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 0.7 days. There is no atmosphere. The surface temperature average is 20 Kelvin. Analysis finished. Body B7 is a low-gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 1.6 days. The surface temperature average is 20 Kelvin. Ice well. Analysis finished. Body A8 is a low gravity icy body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of two days. The years have scoured it clean of any atmosphere. The surface temperature average is 23 Kelvin. Engage FTL. Jump in progress. SSB Stromoth is en route to the HIP 63835 system. This is your first visit to this system. Fuel tanks are at maximum. SSB Stromoth is now fully refueled. Range in mass from 15 to 90 solar masses, they burn very brightly indeed. With the surface temperature reaching 52,000 Kelvin, so appear very blue. Yeah, that's so very blue. With lifetimes of one to ten million years, ending in a supernova. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Press down on the joystick. SSB Stromoth has left Super Cruise. SSB Stromoth has entered Super Cruise. Scan finished. Body CD4 is a medium gravity icy body. It has a rotational period of 0.6 days and is tidal locked. This icy body has active water geysers at the surface. The super dense atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen with an average surface temperature of 146 Kelvin. Class 3 gas giants. Analysis completed. These gas giants Celestial really Object CD-1 is an extremely high-gravity Class 3 gas giant. It has a fast rotational period of 0.3 days and is tidal locked. They are primarily blue in color because of optical scattering in the atmosphere, with the chance of wispy cloud layers from sulfides and chlorides. Scan completed. Josie Rosa is an extremely high gravity class 3 gas giant with a pristine metallic ring. It has a rotational period of 2 days and is tidal locked.
scan and analysis completed. Body ABCD1AM is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 0.9 days and is tidally locked. I am detecting active iron lava flows. It is devoid of any atmosphere. The surface temperature averages 522 Kelvin. Scan and analysis finished. Object ABCD2 is an extremely high gravity icy body. It has a slow rotational period of 26 days and is tidally locked. This icy body has active water geysers. Most prevalent in the super dense atmosphere is water with an average surface temperature of 392 Kelvin. Scan and analysis finished. Object ABCD1B is a medium gravity rocky body. It has a rotational period of 1.3 days and is tidally locked. Sensors detect low levels of active iron lava flows. The atmosphere is composed mostly of sulfur dioxide with an average surface temperature of 494 Kelvin. Plane. Scan finished. Stand by. Body ABCD1C is a medium gravity rocky body. It has a retrograde rotational period of minus 2.3 days. Sensors detect low levels of active silicate lava flows. Most prevalent in the atmosphere is sulfur dioxide with an average surface temperature of 424 Kelvin. Scan complete. Object ABCD1CA is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a fast rotational period of 0.2 days and is tidally locked. I detect high numbers of active silicate vapor geysers. The surface temperature averages 405 Kelvin. Scan completed. Celestial Object CD3 is a medium gravity high metal content world. It has a fast rotational period of 0.2 days. I am detecting high numbers of active silicate vapor geysers at the surface. Most prevalent in the crushing atmosphere is carbon dioxide with an average surface temperature of 895 Kelvin. This data could be worth over 425,000 credits. Scan and analysis finished. Celestial object ABCD7AM is a low gravity metal rich body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 2.3 days and is tidally locked. It is devoid of any atmosphere. The surface temperature averages 1137 Kelvin. This scan might sell for nearly 64,000 credits. Stand by. Scan and analysis completed. Rocky world. Celestial object ABCD8C is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 2.3 days and is tidally locked. The surface temperature average is 739 Kelvin. Analysis finished. Object ABCD8B is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 1.3 days and is tidally locked. I am detecting low levels of active iron lava flows. The surface temperature average is 810 Kelvin. So some things scan quite Scan and analysis slow. finished. 
Celestial Object ABCD8AM is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. That's enough. It has a retrograde rotational period of minus 0.9 days. Sensors detect active iron lava flows at the surface. It is devoid of any atmosphere. The surface temperature averages 857 Kelvin. Analysis complete. Body ABCD 10 AMB is a low gravity rocky body. It has a retrograde rotational period of minus 2.0 days. Sensors detect active silicate lava flows at the surface. The thick atmosphere is composed mostly of sulfur dioxide with an average surface temperature of 546 Kelvin. Scan and analysis finished. Celestial object ABCD 10 AMA is a low gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a rotational period of 1.2 days and is tidally locked. Sensors detect low levels of active iron lava flows. The surface temperature averages 566 Kelvin. Open system map. Opening map. Close map. That's already done.
75 percent. 75 percent. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Disengage. Drive deactivated. SSB Stromuth has entered normal space in the vicinity of planet Josie Rosa. Lights on. Lights on.
pretty big. Retract weapons. External camera. Confirmed. Itself. Off. External camera. Acknowledged. One hundred percent. One hundred percent.
Okay, that was um, a big ship. SSP Strumuth has vintage super cruise. Scan and analysis completed. Celestial object ABCD9AM is a medium gravity rocky body that is suitable for landing. It has a slow rotational period of 53 days and is tidally locked. I am detecting active iron lava flows. The surface temperature average is 891 Kelvin. Analysis complete. Body ABCD4 is a high gravity, high metal content world. It has a rotational period of 9.1 days. This high metal content world has high numbers of active silicate vapor geysers at the surface. Most prevalent in the super dense atmosphere is water with an average surface temperature of 2,888 Kelvin. This data can sell for well over 43 and a half thousand credits. before but um, with the new graphics and stuff have another look it's not far away three quarter impulse three quarter impulse
SS Bistromuth has left supercruise near Starhip 63835C. What's the worst that can happen? I lose the ship. Or was that the warning? External camera. Confirmed. Take a photo, please. Taking photo. Internal camera. Acknowledged. Engage Super Cruise. Deploy heat sink. Heat levels beyond operating tolerance. SSB Stromuth has entered Super Cruise. Open system map. System cartography. So I need to decide where I'm going to go next. Um, what's the time call? Wait, I'm going to call it a day for this. I should be back on over the weekend. If you watch this at a later date at some point, hi, bye. And end stream.